You have to tell the story as you want it to be. You cannot continue to tell the story of what is. And somehow, friends, you have become historians. <laughs> you have become documenters of how things are and how things have been instead of those who look forward to where you're going. And can you hear that that is the basic flaw in the approach of most? Because every moment you are expanding to more and every moment the larger part of you has become it. And if you're looking at where you are or at where you've been, you are pulling yourself apart from who you are becoming. You have to look forward. You have to begin to tell the story, no matter what the subject is, on where you're going, not where you are. On where you're going, not where you've been. On where you're going, not where you are. On where you're going, not where you've been. So, if someone says to you, hi, how are you? You want to hear that and translate in your own mind, wrong question. That question's going to evoke from me the wrong answer. They say, how you been? You just, you just don't want to answer that question. Even if you've been pretty good, even if you've been really good, even if you are really good, you cannot have been and you cannot be as good as you have already become vibrationally. You getting the sense of this? We really want you to hear this. So when someone says, how you been? You want to translate it in your mind and you want to answer the question as if they've said, where are you going? So you want to say, everything's expanding magnificently for me. Everything's right on schedule. Things are unfolding magnificently. And then they'll say, because they've had previous conversations with you that they remember, <laughs> they'll say, well, did you, did you get that job you've been wanting? And you say, it's right on schedule. <laughs> and they say, that wasn't my question. <laughs> did you get the job? And you say, it's all taken care of. And they say, but did you get the job? And you say, everything is unfolding perfectly for me. And they say, are we in two different worlds? Can't you hear what I'm asking you? And you say, we are in two different worlds. I am in the world of where I'm going and you're in the world of where I've been. And we're not communicating because I'm not going back there. I don't want to be where I've been. I don't even really want to be where I am. I want to be where I'm going. I want to be where the larger part of me is. I want to go where I really am. I want to be who I really am. I am a lover and you are annoying me. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, people mean well, they really do. But they're interested in where you've been and they're interested in how you are. And we want you to be interested in where you're going because the larger part of you is already gone and every negative emotion that you feel is because you're stuck somewhere along the trail. And when you'll just let loose of where you've been and where you are and you'll start looking forward to where you're going, everything will break loose for you. You'll have this wonderful ride of your life. It will feel like being on that wave of that wonderful surfboard ride. You'll feel the wind in your ears and you'll know that you're on your way eternally on your way to who you 